To prepare for battle, Constitution's gun crews practiced firing the Spardak carronades. These short-barreled, close-range guns were designed to throw a heavy shot capable of shattering an enemy ship's timbers. Named for the Karen company who developed them, they were nicknamed the Smashers. Cannon locks, an advancement in the technology of war at the time, were used to fire the guns. The lock was mounted to a carronade's breech and allowed for a higher rate of ignition. As soon as the gun captain yanked on the lock's lanyard, he tripped the trigger that fired the gun in a split second. This was a faster and more reliable process than the old slow match. Better timing meant better aiming. Sailors manning guns also carried powder horns. These hollowed out horns carried gunpowder that could be poured out with one hand using the spring-operated closing lever on the end. Marines stationed on the fighting tops, armed with rifles, carried powder horns and loose balls. Horns were used to carry the finer powder used to prime long guns and howitzers.